and look at either. Okay, guys. Now the boom is at 30 degrees. Yes. So, but the load is the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's changed, Cole? The distance from the load to the pivot point. The angle of the boom. The angle of the boom, which makes the distance from the, the load to the pivot point further away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, it was, now it's 39 inches away. Mm -hmm. Now 39 inches, uh, Cole, why don't you take a rough measurement with the tape measure. So you're measuring from the center of gravity of the load to the end of the boom. That's about 40 inches, right? Yep. Okay. But when we're talking, all right, I'm looking at the moment of the load, weight times distance. We know the weight is five and a half pounds, right? Mm -hmm. And the distance, 25 inches. I thought you said 40 inches. How do you get 25? We get 25 because we're not measuring from the center of gravity of here to the pivot point of the boom. Center of, center of gravity of the boom. Yeah, we're, we're measuring to the pivot. pivot point of this thing. So this distance is 15 inches. So you just subtract that from the total and you get 25 inches. So, mm -hmm. the, so it's 25, that's the weight, the distance and the weight is five and a half. Mm -hmm. And what's the mo moment we get? We get 140 inch pounds. And that includes three inch pounds for the boom. Yes, mm -hmm. because now more of the boom is on the load side. Mm -hmm. uh, now the boom weighs, mm -hmm. where's the boom? Boom weighs 2.75 pounds. pounds, but only some of it is on, but some of it is on this side, so we, so then we get 1.75 pounds. Okay, so 2.75 is the total, mm -hmm. right Cole, but only one pound is on which side of the pivot point? Only one pound is on this side, and, and 1.75 pounds is on this side. Good. Mm -hmm. So the, the moment of the load is, what do we got there? The moment of the load is 140.5 inch pounds. Okay, now we got to figure out the moment of the crane. Now the crane... The crane weighs 4.5 pounds. Okay, then we added the skip and the pulley and all that other stuff. Yeah. And that, what do we get? Uh, that adds 5.5 pounds, making it nine, uh, 10 pounds in total. Wait a minute, we got five and a half pounds for the for the boom and the, and the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, for the, for the load. Yeah. And for the crane, it's 4.5 pounds. Okay, I'm sorry. The crane is 4.5 pounds, mm -hmm. and then part 1.75 pounds for the boom, mm -hmm. because... The, the 1.75 pounds of the boom is from the pivot point over. Good. So the total load for the crane, we got six and a quarter pounds. Mm -hmm. Distance is 13 inches, so what do we got? We Let's get 81.25 inch pounds. Which is a lot less than 140, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so if that, we did... So that is why we need a counteracting uh, weight here, because if we took this off, then the whole crane would tip. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right on the pivot point. 